We are officially the manager of MK Doms. Now we just have to sign them away. Hey guys, and welcome back to the first episode of the FM22 Wayne Train Save with MK Dons. We have moved from the Wellington Phoenix, and I'm very happy to be in the League One. It's a very decent team. If you guys are excited about this switch and excited for the fact that I've changed it to episode one by resetting it, even though it's not a new save, but you know, views have really picked up. So hopefully it will mean the likes will have picked up. Make sure that you do smash the like button on this video as well as subscribing to the Rex FM YouTube channel. Can we please smash 20 likes to celebrate a new save kind of? Not really. New new team is what I should have said. And uh, it will just help me in the algorithm, won't it? So absolutely stoked to be here. MK Don's certainly the best side that we had the chance of joining. Uh, the only job that we actually had the chance of joining this season after interviewing and being successful is take a look at what we have to deal with. Media prediction was 12th. They're currently down 19th after losing quite a number of games. Uh, they were founded in 2004. One of the newer teams in English football. And the squad that they have at present isn't looking too bad. I definitely recognise some of these players. I know Ahura is a really good centre-back option. Not sure if I'm saying his name right, but he is a very good player. Smith at CDM used to play for... Um, Manchester City, very good player. Twine, I know, got a really overpowered uh, team of the season in FIFA, so it must be not half bad in this save. Of course, he's going to move to the wing, because we all know who our striker's going to be. There is a bit of a predicament with that, but we'll go over that in just a minute. For playing time, they want us to play attacking football. And they want us to, sorry, playing time, they want us to use attacking football. You know what I'm trying to say. Develop players using the use system, position and uh, entertaining. That's all stuff that I do. Work within the wage budget, sell players for a profit. And I did negotiate that. We had to finish top half. And I think that might have been what got us the job. And in the future, they want us to eventually reach the playoffs. And I I'm happy with that. I, I feel like that is a good goal for this season just to settle in. And then in the future, uh, push for those promotion spots and now we see our entire team and for those keen-eyed viewers you'll notice something else the in-game editor is up there and it's because this isn't my first time recording this I have gone back and uh, tried to redo this because unfortunately Ben Wayne has zero interest in joining MK Don so I have had to get out of my pocket the $12 uh, in New Zealand dollars, it's like six pounds. That, that's like a proper meal uh, to buy the in-game editor so we can go sign up uh, Ben Wayne, and I'm going to do that right now. And I would like to tell you, as I'm searching up Ben Wayne, that I do have a fee in mind because as you can see here, the first time I try and buy him, it's a total of 2.7 million pounds. And obviously there you can see not wanting to negotiate. But then I got them to accept a £2 million bid another time I simulated it when I put it all up front. And uh, in the in-game editor, when you sign a player, you can't actually do instalments. So the £2 million is what we're going to go with. And if we look here, it will rinse our bank account. But it is worth it to get Ben Wayne in. We might even be slightly in debt. But we're going to move him to our club for a £2 million fee. And I'm only doing this because he is not interested in joining for obvious reasons. He's the star of the show. We're not going to change it up just because uh, he's not interested. He's coming with us. And I understand why he's not interested, but he is now officially an NK Don's player. And that lives, leaves us very little budget available. But at least it hasn't rinsed our bank account too much. Comes in for £4,800 per week. I'm gutted I can't just negotiate this um, this uh, contract myself, which is really annoying. But hey, he is on for quite some time. No release clause. Ends up being a four-star current ability player. And just to be clear to all of you, I'm immediately getting rid of the icon just so that when people click on this video, they don't instantly think that the the, the 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 thing is in use. Actually, why is it not gone? Normally it completely goes. Can I get it gone? Editor. Can, can, can we get it? Gone? Show it in game. I don't want it at all. Is it going to remove? No, it's just 
chilling quietly there. All right. Um, between no, have I just not got a keen eye? Normally it's gone. Well, anyway, it's it's not the important thing. You guys know that I've used the editor. I'm not going to use it for anything else. Just to bring Ben Wayne in. Stoked to have him at the club, obviously. Now we're going to set up the tactics. That is really bothering me. I swear it isn't always there. I hope it's just a glitch. <laughs> we're going to go with the same tactic that we went with for the Phoenix. Um, of course, we're going to just quick pick our best 11 to start off with. Ben Wayne has to be starting up front. And we're going to put him up front for the first game, which we will be playing in today's video, which is up against a very difficult side, Peterborough United, who were in the championship very recently, in the save, not last season, but the season before that, came sixth last year, so a decent squad to say the least. Media prediction of third. Yeah, I'm expecting them, them to be half decent. We've got a goalkeeper on loan. Oh, yes. Ah. Uh, Actual goalkeeper is not looking great. If we go to the squad, I'll actually do the tactics off camera and then talk about it afterwards because I don't feel like you guys want to hear too much about it. O'Hora, uh, Twine, Smith, the main players I have talked about seem to be our best players. Harvey as well got a decent current ability, a bunch of three star current abilities, a couple five star potential abilities. Oh, okay. One of them is the guy on loan, unfortunately. But we do have a central midfielder who has got five star potential ability or thereabouts i might bring over a couple of wellington phoenix players as well while i'm here because they well not right this second but you know they they are definitely decent enough to get some real game time in this team if ben wayne is considered to be four star current ability just like he was at the phoenix he must be pretty decent and the rest of our phoenix players must not be half bad either um of course it is a transfer window so we can do that but we do need to absolutely sell before we buy. So I do have a massive squad, so I can definitely do that. But I'm going to give it a wee play around now, see what I can do, see if I can familiar, familiarize myself with the team. But obviously, we're just stoked to be at a different club, be moving on. I think that the, 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 the cross move to the Skybet League one is about on par with the A-League. If we go to the team, it is the same reputation, so it makes sense. And also... It means that we are now in Europe, have that European status, and our main player is already considered to be Mr. Ben Wayne. Love to see it. Hopefully he's going to be an absolute star for us here. Hopefully we can build a pretty good team and beat Peterborough on the first game. I'm going to go do some tactical stuff. I guess uh, we're ready to rumble with MK Dons. This is the team we're going with for the first game. I've looked at every single player and I'm slightly disappointed by the midfield uh the rest is all right unfortunately ben wayne's debut is going to have to come off the bench but he will absolutely be coming on he's just not fully fit i don't think he can play a full game right now so i'll probably bring him on at half time uh yeah i'd say the stars of the team are twine ben wayne is probably the second best player behind him uh and then on the right wing mendez liang is pretty decent too and central midfield, we've got Cooper playing as a CM right now because the rest of our midfielders just kind of suck. Uh, this CDM dude got great potential but not great right now. Defense is all right though, and actually some very good substitute defenders. Oh, I didn't think about that. Can any of you play CDM? Because if one of you can play CDM, I'm playing you CDM and I'm taking off one of our terrible central midfielders. I don't think I can play CDM. What about Freeman? Come on, Freeman. You can play. He can't play CDM either. What about Arby? I take him. None of them can play CDM. Damn. All right. That would have been a good plan. Yeah, the midfield's not great. Powell is currently starting. He's pretty average. He's the best of a bad situation. Ollie, pretty average too. Not, not terrible, but pretty average. Andrew, another central midfielder. This one is a youth prospect who's more of a striker, but has terrible finishing. And we've got an all right central midfielder here. Probably not as good as Powell, but yeah. Ben Wayne on the bench. Our defense is solid though. O'Hora, uh, Cunningham. Yeah, it's it's pretty decent. I'm, I'm happy with that. The goalkeeper's all right. Uh, the bench has so many players that we just don't need. Like Wickham, wow, so past their best. Wickham is awesome to have, but he's very past it. And with Ben Wayne now, I'm not going to use them at all. Plow also pretty past it. Not terrible statistically, but 
yeah, just not great. Matt Smith, really unfortunate that he's injured. Clayton Lewis coming in on trial, probably not going to be signed. Uh, Tom Allen is a, a decent winger, but he wants to leave the club, and he's actually gone to bid from the Phoenix, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, Lloyd is just not good enough. Uh, Johnson's nowhere near good enough, and he never will be. Bombo's a youngster that has a bit of potential, so I'm kind of holding out hope on him. And Clark is another central midfielder who's a youngster, but I think this one could be a really good one. He's just injured right now. So with the lack of midfielders, he's probably going to make some serious appearances. But for now, we have to focus on the game at hand and trying to win it against Peterborough, who are up in sixth place. And I don't think I've completely changed the tactic. All right, how tall is this strike he's all right he's about the same height as ben wayne i think ben wayne's about six foot oh five foot ten uh let's go mix crosses yeah that that's all fine that all works all good uh i think the only thing i want to adjust right now is just use tighter marking and i'll keep short kicks because he can probably win the knockdowns but i'll get rid of it when ben wayne is starting all right squad number going to ben wayne number nine's not available not even number 18 He's going to have to accept number 15 for a bit because 8 feels weird to me for a striker. It just feels too weird. So 15 is preferable. Let's jump into it and let's potentially win our first game. I've said it so many times, but it's, it's not a nice draw to start us off. And I, I kind of need to hit the ground running. I do need to do a decent job early doors here, especially with us down in 19th place. And in this first game, I, I'm going to say it one more time, it's not the best team to verse. I can't. That, I think that's them attacking. I'm pretty sure that's them. We're white. I'm sure we're white, and it's a decent opportunity from a corner. Headed over the bar by them, and we're not doing a lot going forward. I'm going to demand more from them. I guess right now they don't really have much familiarity with this tactic, so I'll, I'll give them a, a bit of a grace period, a bit of the benefit of the doubt. I'd probably take a draw here, but at, at home you kind of want to see a win from your new manager. I'm keeping it on balance, but I'm tempted to go positive. Really tempted to go positive, and into half time, it's not pretty good. It's not very good. I meant to say I'm not happy with the performance, but I said, I think I said something like, we're the better team, which is just not true. Ben Wayne is coming on now, though. I think he's got the, the fitness to last this entire second half, and he is our record transfer fee by miles. I think their record was like 200k before Ben Wayne, who we bought for 2 million. So, yeah, I've absolutely obliterated that. I am now... Oh, I'm not going to go positive. Because they are... We're getting more shots than them. And we've got the position. They haven't had a shot for ages. But substitution definitely needs to be made. Right, Andrew's not coming on. No, there's no way. Uh, I don't remember half of these players. I guess I'll bring him on. And play him as a midfielder. As a Mazala, is he going to do an alright job? He's got 11 finishing, he should do alright as a Mazala. Cooper, what what are you prefer? You're left footed, so you're definitely going to be an inverted winger for us. And we are going to go positive actually. I've decided, we're, we're going to try and win this. We want to win our first game in charge. Come on. Freeman's tired on the right back. Actually, a lot of people are tired. But we're doing better than the opposition. That's what we love to see. Are we going to see a highlight though? Let's demand more and make our last substitution. Demand more, and we'll make a defensive change. See, I don't remember who these players are. You're the centre back who's got terrible current ability, but is actually not bad. You're the left back. Let's get rid of Harvey because he's tired and not playing great, even though he should be one of our stars this season. Come on, last minute winner. Can we introduce Ben Wayne to English football with a last minute winner? That would be, that would be beautiful. I don't think it's going to happen, but we have won the ball back. Oh, it's just a red card for them. That's not really what I wanted from the highlight because I don't think we have enough time. Is a nil all draw the result? It is the result. That's pretty bland. And I, I feel bad for you, boys and girls. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to say disappointed because I'm not creating a culture of drawing, of accepting draws. But there is a better side than us. And we have held our own and actually dominated, to be fair. Uh, didn't start out brilliantly. But not the worst start possible. Absolutely not the worst. And now I'm torn between. Am I ending the episode here? No, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna simulate the January transfer window. You guys are getting so much content in this first episode with this new team. I'm simulating. We'll go to the end of the January transfer window. Tell you what deals we do, and then I'll probably simulate forward. 
a massive amount. So let's do that. I'm going to go off, play all of these games off camera, and tell you how the end of the January transfer window goes. I mean, I think we have the potential to make some serious deals. Even though we have no money right now, players are going to be leaving. Matthew Garber is potentially joining, by the way. I'm very excited about that, but we have no money to bring him in right now, so I'm slightly nervous. But Lloyd could be leaving, Alan could be leaving, and Wickham, all these players, you know, transfer listed. Um, I'm probably going to eventually just accept zero dollars for them. In fact, I'm definitely going to do that for Wickham right now. But this is, I'm spoiling stuff. I'll see you guys at the end of the transfer window. All right, so the transfer window is closed, and it's been an interesting start to our MK Don's career, not only for us, but Ben Wayne also. He hasn't done bad, though. Like, he's gone down in star rating, but he has scored three goals from five appearances and one off the bench. So overall, I think he's doing what he needs to be doing as a striker, and I'm sure he's going to add to that tally at some point soon. The real star of our team, though, is Twine, and I did highlight him as one of the better players, but he has been on fire since we moved here. Two goals there, one goal there, one goal there, one goal there. He's playing incredibly well. He won player of the month, in fact. Um, yeah, brilliant player for us. Absolutely wanting to keep him around for as long as physically possible. But what you want to know is the transfers that were done and where we're sitting in the league. Currently, we are all the way down in 15th place which is a massive jump from 19th considering the gap between us is six points now we've done a very good job to get up into there one more win would see us go into the mid table sort of region and we're actually only 10 points away from those playoff positions not that i'm saying we should be pushing for those playoff positions it would be a real challenge to get up there but with how many games left 20 no 14 games left i feel like it's very possible um we just need to keep winning the way that we are right now because we have been doing quite well since i took over we drew to peter brett nil all as you guys know uh we managed to go to the papa john's quarter final but lost but in the league a win here 4-2 a loss which was really gutting uh a penalty saw them go one nil up and keep it then we've won against Sutton, 3-2, 2-0 away from home against uh, AFC Wimbledon, and 2-1 at home against Stockport. So some very good results. None, none of them massively convincing, but enough to send us higher in the table and comfortably sitting in 15th place. Well away from the drop, but my goal is to be getting top half finish, and they're, they're happy with the fact that we're moving up, but we're definitely not in that position just yet but in terms of transfers that's what you all want to know about what have we done well we'll start with the players that we've gotten rid of i don't remember the first player that i got rid of i, I want to say it was lloyd it was lloyd he came in well he, he well he did come in this year he actually played all right in the one game that i did play him but sold him for 10.5 was not good enough have to get some money for him and nothing too special in terms of transfer fee this guy was the youngster that i talked about that was terrible and we've just let him go on free for the wages clo has gone out for 4.7k very low fee once again but had to do it and connor wickham no one wanted him to buy but we've gotten rid of all of his wages out on loan at uh at walsall so stoked about that i think that's pretty good result for us in terms of signings though Oh wait, no, we made one other massive sale. How, how can I look at it? I don't know how to look at it. Uh, released players, did we release anyone? I don't think that, no, that's not us. Uh, loan deals, here we go. It was Mickey Van Sass who we got rid of. And I think it was the best deal we've done all transfer window. He's two and a half star current ability, a good goalkeeper. But he was getting paid £6,000 per week. As soon as we got rid of him, we instantly had so much more money and we were able to do much better things with that money. I'm sorry, mate. I, that was the best decision I've made. And it meant that we've been able to bring in Hudson Wahongi, which is a New Zealander. Love to see a New Zealander coming into the team. And he is going to be a really good rotation slash starting centre-back for us because our centre-back positions is not so strong right now so great to have him in the team we managed to loan in berry who i thought was going to be a lot better and that's because of course i was panicking trying to get a new goalkeeper in but luckily we tried our luck again with another loan goalkeeper this one for a much higher transfer fee sorry uh wage berry we're paying nothing of luckily 
Uh, but this man we're paying 2.1k but it's definitely paid off he is better than the goalkeeper we had and we're paying him 4k less absolutely stoked with that deal he's going to be a really good one for us for the rest of the season uh we've also managed to loan in okay i was getting to a point where we needed more midfielders and i didn't have time to scout all these people so i just kind of signed them so this one is the dud of the group two star current ability five star potential but again we're paying nothing for him so I'm completely fine with it. He is wanted by 11 clubs, which makes me think his contract might be expiring at some point soon, is it? If it is, I would be wanting to sign him. But not a bad signing, just not going to get that much game time. This one, though, a brilliant signing. Three-star current ability, going to be a starting player for us now, and only £230 per week being spent on him. Really good. Love to have him in the team, and he's going to be a rotation and starting option. And another one, Joe White another player that we've gotten on a free in terms of loan and is probably going to start or be at the very least a very good rotation option for us and i think those three deals are the best deals that we've done uh the the loan deal here loan deal here loan deal here hudson mahong is a great deal as well we tried to bring in plenty of other players i'll go through a couple of them ollie sale we wanted to get in on loan but uh he failed his work permit alex paulson we just tried to get on a pre-contract expiry but his work permit was rejected we will try again if we can because he would be great to get in the next season because you know we don't currently have a goalkeeper so that would be great uh, this guy i kind of want as a center back but he's bluffed me around too much and the transfer deadline day has passed stensness we wanted to get to but yeah, he didn't really have reasonable wage demands uh, Sam Sutton we had an eye on Rolando Aarons we actually did have the opportunity to sign but it was after the deadline day so wanted to get rid of him uh, but yeah aside from that that's basically all we did in the transfer window but I'm pretty happy with it it now means that this is well okay let's actually uh, get our best 11 on the pitch for you I'm not going to quick pick because when they quick pick it is absolutely stupid and nowhere near the best 11 that we possibly could have so this is what i would say would be our best 11 okay you can definitely argue cunningham should be in there instead of hudson Mahongi, and you know i will do that because it's probably fair enough to shout that uh, but i think that's a really strong team mcdonald is now what who's mcdonald why is mcdonald starting Oh, McDonald is starting. Oh, Hora definitely needs to be starting. Sorry, my bad. He he was nearly leaving the club too. Uh, but now that we have our best 11 out there, we've got amazing players. We've got Ben Wayne, Twine, Matt Smith, back from injury. Harvey's still doing great. Ohora and the rest of the players are just really solid. Like Cooper is training as a Mazala and doing a really good job there. In terms of performances, again, like sevens across the board, doing a really good job in that position. Scored two in one game, so happy with that. Uh, Smith, a great boxer, box midfielder, or CDM if we need him. Of course, this new loanee, it means that we also have great loanees on the bench and just rotation options left, right, and center. We ended up deciding not to get rid of, where is he, Allen? Uh, the man who potentially was going to go to the Phoenix, because this wing option is actually really handy to have. So I didn't feel the need to get rid of him for next to nothing. But I, I'm soaked with this. I think that we have massively improved the squad with just one transfer window. I now feel confident that in this first episode, we should be able to take this team to at least a top half finish. I mean, it's some slip-ups along the way are inevitable. And I think we'll be massive in trying to keep morale. They did actually tell me to do a team meeting and i did mess it up so now club atmosphere has gone down which has really really annoyed me because i didn't need to do a team meeting but they recommended it so i was like yeah why not so i'm really frustrated about that but aside from that everything's actually gone pretty well here so far i mean is my re my reputation gone up no it's not gone up at all but i think we've done a really good job and i think only good things are going to come from this move the mk dons hopefully pushing for championship places next season at the very least um and if not we'll be looking for some championship jobs hopefully ben wayne's in, and ben wayne is enjoying his time in england so far settled in feeling good in milton Keynes, uh he is getting paid a hefty amount of money and is going to continue to be an absolute star for us for the rest of the save 
if he keeps doing what he's doing right now and going on that upward trajectory. Love to see it. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, though, please smash the like button as well, subscribing so that you don't miss more Football Manager content. Next episode, we will probably just come back at the end of the season. Unless something horrific has happened, I don't think... I'm trying to be really snappy with this save. Um, so I reckon there's no other reason for me to cover stuff. We'll just come back at the end of the season unless it looks like we're going to get sacked or I don't know. I, I, I don't think there's any other reason. Yeah, so we'll come back at the end of the season. Let's hope I don't get sacked. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you all later.